Hello, hello, hashtag health, wealth, life, day one, two, five. One, two, five, wow. How many, uh, how many days do you think off the top of your head are we into the year? 125 is the answer. It doesn't seem like that to me. Maybe it seems like it to you or not. Isabel, how are you? Hope you had an amazing day yesterday. Uh, it's gonna be a very quick one today. Pete, good to see you, mate. How are you? Um, very quick one today. So my story today is I went to a funeral actually and it was absolutely oh, so sad. Uh, my oldest friends, um, anyway, that's another story. But uh, at the end of the uh, ceremony, we went for something to eat and um, there weren't much option where we were so we had to choose had to choose wisely because i'm very strict about what i eat particularly at the moment so say you go to a uh, you know like a working men's cafe or just a cafe that doesn't really sell the greatest of food um what do you have because this is a story about today the people i were with family members friends they chose certain things and i chose certain things now straight after they had tiredness lethargy and it hit some of them i watched it hit some of them pretty much straight away and for myself i was actually boosted up and, and full of energy and hours later they were dozing off and i was rolling around with my son playing with him and, and wanted to just really inject some love and fun into my day after having such a, a sad uh, catharsis of of the funeral so anyway point being that the story is what you choose to eat is 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 essential and this is around the number one thing that i've learned this year the number one thing I've learned this year is the quality of the fats you allow into your body. So for instance, uh, my mum was saying, oh, but I've had grilled bacon and I had eggs. That's not so bad. Um, but what, what I, I asked for my eggs, no oil and to put them on the, um, you've heard this as well, TC. You've heard it as well, have you? So yeah, the quality of your fats is really important. Um, I said no oil, no oil for my on my eggs, no oil on my bacon. I want it on the hot plate. Just cook them on there for me, and that's the way I'll eat them. So my mum had them like that, and she felt tired after. She said, "Well, it was eggs; they weren't so bad." And I said, "But they were deep fried, and I don't know what oil. Maybe vegetable oil. I'm not sure." And this is a fairly decent calf, but it wasn't the great, you know. But you got you can still make a good choice. So what did I have? What was the good choice? I made sure that there was no oil added. Um, I did ask them what butter they used, so I didn't get any of that because it ended up being margarine. It wasn't butter. And um, I had uh, bacon on the griddle. Maybe not the wisest choice, but one of the better choices. Had eggs on the griddle, uh, grilled tomato, grid, grilled tomatoes on all on the hot plate, and uh, a few mushrooms and a salad. And that did me. And that was good. My energy was good, and it was a good food choice. And I, I obviously drink my own coffee. You probably know about that. So I just got some uh, hot water, and I had my own coffee. Um, so it's down to your choice. Do you want more energy? Do you want more vitality? It really does matter. One food choice, one meal can make all the difference, and it can dip your energy. Or do you want to be vital? Do you want to feel like full of energy and and uh, feel great and just have better conversations and enjoy yourself more? Um, it really is your choice. It really is your choice, and one food can do that. So it is reported that one, you know, if I said to you, I'll give you this fried chicken. Let's say I'll give you a fried chicken or this cigarette. What would you choose? You'd probably think, well, I'll eat the fried chicken. It's not going to be that bad for me. But actually, the studies show, the information, the science now shows that that fried chicken will give you more damage for longer periods of time than smoking that cigarette. And who wants to smoke a cigarette these days? Really, not a good idea. And the fried chicken's a worse idea. So think about that. Think about it. It's, it's like a bruise. So if I bruised you, if I kicked you in the shin right now and it bruised, no matter what you did, no matter how well you ate, no matter how early you went to bed, no matter how perfectly you, you slept and thought even, it wouldn't heal straight away, right? It would take time for that bruise to go away. And that's exactly the same as what you do when you make a bad food choice. So keep the bad fats out. Hydrogenated fats, uh, any fats that are deep fried or denatured in any way, keep them out. Vegetable oils, don't eat them. Don't eat them, avoid them. Look at what you're eating. If you're eating a processed food with many ingredients, look at the ingredients and choose ones that, you know, don't eat it if it's not good for you, if it doesn't, if it has hydrogenated fats in it, if it has uh, omega-6s in it, vegetable oils in it, don't eat it. Really, it's, it will do you uh, a world of harm uh, and it will slow your brain down. It really affects your brain and, and your performance levels. Don't do it. So that's my main tip for today and I'll finish there because I want to keep it short and sweet and just one thing. So if you could do me a favor, just type in the comment box just what you got, the main thing you got out of this video, a little summary. And uh, So when we look back, we can see what the main information was in this video. I really appreciate it. And share it. If you think it was uh, of use and it was a good piece of information, please press the share button. I'd, I'd appreciate that <laughs> if you press the share button. Sharing is caring. Okay, I'll be here at uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And remember that happy is a skill that you can learn. And this 
this is a better way to bring out your personal best. Let's go get some health wealth. Let's take the world with us. Don't eat bad fats.